these women were not witches, you know, they were just, unfortunately, they were, they were part, they were scapegoats, right? Yeah. And I think to what you said earlier, you know, the, the whole idea of a witch is just really intriguing to us because when you get down to the root of it, it's a person who's capable of practicing magic. And that's really interesting. Who doesn't want to practice magic, you know, be right. able to fly, you know, you hear these descriptions from the early modern period, from the witch trials period. And you're like, honestly, that sounds kind of fun, it, especially, you know, to us today, like that sounds so, for lack of a better word, magical, you know? Yeah. So it's, it, it's very intriguing to us. And again, we look back at Puritans trying to fortune tell and things like that. There's always been this compulsion to want to be able to practice magic, want to be able to, you know, do X, Y, and Z, tap into something greater than us and be able to change something and be able to, uh, again, like tap into this kind of greater magic. And that has never gone away. But the idea of witches as evil, uh, again, like a witch is born as evil. Like the idea of a witch starts as this person contacting the devil, root of all evil kind of thing. So that's why we have this image that comes down to us of the evil crotchety woman in the woods who wants to eat children all of that is from it's folklore born from the witch trials like we talked about the people who are most likely to be accused of witchcraft are older women who live on the outskirts of society and are really just regular people who don't fit in for one reason or another but that's how we get our witches like in Hansel and Gretel you get you know the witch who's trying to eat the kids in the woods and it's not until we get further and further distanced from real historic witch trials that this idea can kind of splinter away from this period where witches were real, where witches really were the thing that went bump in the night. That there were laws dictating, you know, that, right. uh, you know, uh, regulating. Finally, when we get fur far enough away, a witch starts to get stripped down as just a woman who has magical powers, it starts to transform and you start to see like the Wizard of Oz, good witches showing up. You start to see when you creep through the 20th century, Samantha Stevens from Bewitched, who's literally America's sweetheart and mm -hmm. also a witch. Um, you see it really joining into the feminist movement. There are women in the 60s and 70s who are spiritual feminists who are calling themselves witches as a term of empowerment. And you still see that today. People who practice Wicca or identify as a witch are not trying to contact the devil. They're not devil worshipers. They're people who are tapping into this older idea of magic and the occult that's very peaceful and harmonious. So the idea of a witch is just so much to unpack and it's so intriguing to us. And that's why so many people come to Salem because the Salem witch trials are the most famous witch trials in America. So when you hear witch and you, uh, you know, associated with a place, you come here, but with all these other expectations, all these other versions of the witch, um, you know, what it means to you. And then our job as Salem's community is to remind you the root of the history, but then also talk about it in a modern sense. Salem has a lot of practicing witches, you know, who practice spiritual witchcraft. We have a huge Halloween celebration where people like to dress up as their favorite pop culture witches, you know, like Salem has really just become a place where the evolving image of the witch can be talked about and expressed. And that's that's the really interesting part about living and working here. Subscribe to Unrefined on Patreon. Become a patron and you can see exclusive full podcast videos, bonus content, and more. Listen to Unrefined on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Spreaker, Google Podcasts, the iHeartRadio app, and wherever you get your podcasts.